Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to start working on the outer shell of the seat. I'm gonna be using cardboard to help me out with the shape I need. Initially I wanted to do this round but it didn't work out so I'm gonna to have to use angles to use straight pieces. And these are the pieces that will be attached to each angle. Here is the back piece of the seat to which I want to add these arm rests on the sides which are going to be three quarters of an inch plywood and the back is half an inch. This is how the outer shell came out and this is the back of the seat and here are both of them together the way they're supposed to go. I'm using three quarter plywood for the engine enclosure as well. For this side curve, I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to mark the curve before I cut. And now it's time to start putting the side panels with half inch plywood. This piece is going to need to be angled out a little bit since the seating area is a little wider than the front. I realized that the top piece I could have cut it all the way so I didn't have to add this piece here. Initially I wanted the engine enclosure to be removable independently but I decided to attach it all together. I'm cutting this section away to make space for the gas tank. I need to make this piece flexible. Let's see if the water helps me with that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cut these circles for the side of the tank, also half an inch. I think it's going to look a little rough, but since this is a learning process for me, it'll do for now. Hopefully this piece doesn't break while I'm trying to put it on. Not too bad. Let's see if I need to do any adjustments. Next, I need to cut a piece to finish the back. I may have to cut some grooves here for the engine ventilation later. This block should make this corner a little stronger. Let's move to the front end and start working on it. I'm going to start placing this strip on the bottom which is going to be about 3 inches wide and 3 quarter thick. This is more or less what I see in the picture. The top will also be about 3 inches wide. And roughly 3 quarters for the rest of the frame.
that'll work. I realize that this tank is going to need some reinforcement on the sides. While that dries, I'm going to start shaping up the edges of this outer shell. These pieces are going to hold the body into the frame. I'm going to use four pieces in the back and then in the front I'm just going to drill into the support pieces that I put in the inside. And it's time to pull out the roll and start painting this wood. Just so you know, this paint job is pretty bad. Looking pretty good, but it needs a grill and a fireplace screen will be sacrificed for that. Here it is, almost complete. Now to make these louvers and exhaust similar to the picture, I'm playing with the measurements and I'm gonna place each louver about three quarters apart. Then I'm going to modify this PVC elbow for the exhaust. From these strips of wood, I'm going to make the fake louvers. These are the exhausts already modified and I'm going to spray paint them the same color as the chassis. I think it's ready to try it on the chassis. I'll put the rolling chassis together and try on the body. It's time. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> 